Anyways, we're coming again to another segment of Gospel Life News. But let me start here. You can spell it as D A R K I. Then you know it's double E. I'm sorry to be in your faces again. Once again, Happy New Year. Welcome to um, the year 2024. This year promises to be one of the best years you can ever have. Trust me, I want to say big thanks to our fans out there. You guys were amazing last year. You guys, the energy was top notch. The consistency, um, the keeping up was, was electrifying. I want to say big thank you. Let's do it bigger and better this year 2024 um let's keep subscribing let's keep telling others about what we do here at gusto tv africa because coming soon we have something amazing that would blow your mind away coming from that key you don't want to miss this one anyways the news is buzzing we have a whole lot to talk about um bonaboy also made the news this morning um this afternoon rather and then we have amazing guys from rema rema breaking records of having about 1.9 billion she must qualify for last year and I'm making him the um most streamed African artist on the platform and uh, to Ashake who also showed that he is not small in the world. All of these will bring them to you in a bit. All you have to do is stay tuned, sit back and enjoy all what we bring into your faces in no time. Please and please um you would like to turn on your notification button so you'll be the first person to know whenever we make a video or post a new content. Um having said all of that let's go straight up to what the news look like. I uh, will begin the news with Brunner Boy. We saw Brunner Boy normal uh, have surpassed 10 million streams on Spotify. It become the ninth song of the I to them album to reach this milestone. Um, amazingly, uh, Brunner Boy, um, Brunner Boy's numbers with I told them has been electrifying, has been magic. Trust me. Uh, from an album which people came out to say it's not nice as this is that to so the album having massive numbers. As we speak, this album has crossed about 300 million streams. On Spotify, it just shows what he did on that one. And uh, this is just to say kudos to Banner Boy um, for giving us amazing projects back to back from African Giants to the store to Love the Mini. And um, so I told them he has not reduced the bar. And it just shows that consistency is one of those things that will make you become, that will consider you or that will make you be considered as the GOAT in whatsoever you're doing. Moving on, we saw Bonner Boy Wild Dreams, um, which featured the great Kali that just surpassed 30 million streams on Spotify. It also became the fifth song of the Love Damini album to reach this milestone. Just so you know, Love Damini album have surpassed 1 billion streams on Spotify. And um, obviously, kudos to songs like um, Common Pressing, Last Last, um, uh, Ed, you want with Ed Sheeran. Uh, amazing other song is done on that project. But then we're saying just coming in Wild Dreams just surpassed 30 million streams on Spotify. And um, it, it obviously just means that his numbers at the same time have increased drastically. Uh, moving on, we saw African Giants album have just surpassed 830 million streams on Spotify. Now, before now, we saw um, this album used to take the center front with the lead um, numbers. And then we saw Love Damini creeping from behind and surpassing this album and obviously being the first uh, Bonaboy album to cross one billion stream and um, we're seeing African Giant album now taking a very very big leap and uh, Masat now is currently sitting at number 830 million stream so we're sure that in coming days the countdown to 900 million is obviously on the run and um, maybe before the year runs out we should be seeing this album crossing one billion already. Moving on, we saw Bonaboy alone have just surpassed 120 million streams on Spotify. Bonaboy at this point should be crowned the king of Spotify when it comes to African Zone because this guy has shown us back to back, year in, year out, that yes, he would always have that song that would do amazing numbers on Spotify, crossing 100. Uh, we saw for last year, it was last, 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 last came through. I mean, for previous years, 2021, it was last, last. Last last came through and obviously the song surpassed 100 million. And last year we saw where it dropped the album very very late. But then um, songs like um, you know of the uh, of the I told them album and I was seen song go up from surpassed about 90 million streams on Spotify. So we're sure that before the first quarter of the year they should have um, surpassed 100 million stream. And that is the height of consistency from Bonaboy. And moving on, we saw Bonner Boy performing his unreleased verse on NST colonization last night. And obviously, the room was put up to the brain down some days ago where Bonner Boy was there performing song easier to release at the time. And um, they just showed that this guy is a bundle of talent. So wherever he goes, trust me, music goes with him. And um, Bonner Boy has so many songs in his archive that's yet to release that if you set if you set to release them, 
we could have two albums from what he has in his archive. At the same time, in this space, and um, this same space, this was where Bonaboy came out to drop the bombshell while he said, um, whenever anybody tell you about the top three, talking about Bonaboy, Dave the Whiskey, please correct them because there's nothing like top three. It is top two and there's a Bonaboy. So basically, we have David Doe and Whiskey, and then we have Bonaboy. These are the difference. We have a top three, but then we have a top two, and then we have a Bonaboy. That was the height of the night when Bonaboy came out, dropped the bombshell. And obviously, before he left the stage, you saw where he um, suspended the mic for a beat and then dropped it on the floor. That is what Bonaboy would do at most of his spaces. Now, this is that, that's like his um, emblem um, from performance to his tours. Whenever he's about leaving the space, we saw where we always see him we're dropping the mic on the floor and then walking out calmly. And he just did the same thing in this space where after telling them, after correcting them, that there is nothing like big three or top three, it is big two, and then there's a big brother boy. And after I said that, we saw where he dropped the mic and obviously walked gently off the stage. Moving on, we saw last last official music video have just surpassed 250 million views on YouTube. And this song was at the time, um, Mm, my name's um, song of the summer. A lot of person said this song was the song of the summer, but then uh, some person came out to say no. Um, unlike Essence, Essence was officially certified the song of the summer. Um, this song was nothing close to that. But obviously, with what the song did without remixes, it just shows that mm, it could just be tagged the song of the summer at the time. An amazing one to have surpassed 250 million views on YouTube. Only few artists get to have these numbers on YouTube. Moving on, we saw Bonaboy has been nominated for the Most Fashionable Man at the 2023 Fabis Award. Bonaboy is nominated, nominated alongside Jay-Z, Lewy Hamilton, um, Steve Harvey, Saproki, Damson Idris, Bad Bunny, and more. Now, this was what I said earlier in the morning when we spoke about Whiskey getting an award ahead of these great guys. This is Bonaboy at the same time going head to head against like some Jay-Z, um, Lewy um, Hamilton, Steve Harvey, um, as a proc, different walks of life, you know, Jay Z is one of the biggest rappers we have in the world. Um, Lewis Hamilton, one of the biggest Formula One rider we have in the world, as a matter of fact, the greatest. Uh, we have in the world, we have Steve Harvey, um, obviously a producer, one of those ones who come out to give motivational talks at the time. And then we have a Rocky, musician, Damson Idris, Bad Bunny and more. But then we have Bonner Boy and Mr. Great Guys contending um, for the most fashionable man at the Fabis Award. Bonner Boy has shown back to back that yes, he could be called upon whenever you want to talk about fashion from what he was wearing on the red carpet and his shoes and his stores you can really rely on Bonaboy when it comes to fashion at the time. No wonder he is in the contention for the Fabrice Award for the most fashionable man of the year. Moving on, we have Rema as the next guy on the news. Just coming in, we saw um, Calm Down um, officially has become the longest charted song on the Billboard Pop Airplay Top 10. Um, Rema Calm Down breaks the record as it becomes the longest charting song in the Top 10 of the Billboard Pop Airplay spending about 42 consecutive weeks um, on the charts and the top 10. Amazing for Bonner Boy. Um, this is not just a remix, but then the initial song Come Down has done massive numbers, even on the Billboard category from the Billboard 100 to the Billboard Afrobeat charts, top 100. And you know, amazing, amazing song. But this one, the category is quite different because this is the Billboard Pop Airplay Top 10. And uh, Rema have just spent 42 consecutive weeks in the top 10. No one does it better than Rema. Moving on, we saw Victoni Soweto with Rema and Don Toliver have just surpassed 90 million streams on Spotify. Now, this is one song that a lot of person will want to give the flowers to, but then this song has shown that, yes, I can be that song in contention for one of the most streamed songs of the year. We all know um, that um, Actors like Bonner Boy and um, obviously David led the pack for last year with unavailable leading with about 100 million plus um, stream at the time. But then we're saying um, Rema also showing that I am also in the contention, having about two songs, I'm crossing 90 million with um, Cham and obviously Soweto with um, which Victoria featured him and Don Toliver. Rema indeed was blessed last year when it comes to Spotify and his numbers. Recall that at the same time last year, Rema also had a song that surpassed 1 billion streams on Spotify. Moving on, we saw um, Rema River Roses has appeared on the Billboard album chart in three different calendar year. Uh, amazing for him, we saw um, first African album, debut album to mark this feat, 
and the second album of all time, Raven Roses charts at number nine um, for this week. Now, the years include 2022, 2023, and then 2024. That was about a thousand and something days for the song. An amazing one for him, about, about 900 and something days for the song, trust me, but an amazing one to see Rema doing massive numbers even in the US, and that's an amazing one, having an album appearing on about three different calendar year from 2022 up to 2024 it just shows that indeed he made a classic on that one he called the raven roses for last year we saw where he made the ultra of that one where he um had songs like charm and then it also housed um calm down remix with selena gomez so it, no wonder the song or the project would chat in different calendar years Moving on, we saw Raman Gomez come down ranks number 14 as the most streamed song in the US for the in the year um, 2023 with about 431 million streams. Um, come down become the first ever African song to appear in the top 50 of the YTD um, song stream chart. An amazing one. Rema, um, indeed, you know, there's this thing about you having one global song. It just could be enough for you in your lifetime because what he has achieved on the song could just be enough for him in his lifetime. But trust Rema to get back on his feet this year and give us amazing, amazing content. Why we're waiting for him, let's all enjoy what he has done on the calm down and the Raven versus Ultra. Moving on, we saw Fexo and Rema Bubalu is now eligible for gold certification in Mexico. And obviously, um, the song is now appealing to people it was created for. We all know that this song was specially made for, re- for guys in those regions at the time and um good news that the mexico folks are listening to it massively and it is now eligible for a good certification in mexico i'm also talking about rema rema recorded a total of about 1.9 billion career stream on spotify um for the year 2023 within the um, space of january to december um he was the most streamed african artist on the platform amassing about 1.9 billion um, career stream just shows that that should just be a blessed year. But I'm going to come next second with about 1.7 billion stream on Spotify. And um, these folks just made uh, other artists in Africa know that we, if we can do it, you also can do it. A lot of people want to say Bonaboy is the king of Spotify, which we all agree to, but the Rema has shown that I would not be left out in that conversation. I'm still on Rema. We saw Rema come down as appeared on the media traffic United World Singles Chart for two consecutive um, years, talking about 2022 and obviously, I mean 2023 and obviously 2024. I'm um, still on Rema. We saw um, United World Charts year end. Uh, we saw Rema come down ranks number, number three as the best selling song in the world. It's become the highest ranking African song ever on the year-end chart list. Um, the chart looks like this. We have Flowers by Miley Cyrus. We have The Weeknd as number two. We have Calm Down number three. We have SZA with QB number four. Uh, we have um, Jim Kong as number five. We have As It Was by um, Aristotle as number six. And I miss all that great artist occupying the top 10 position. But then we know that Rema currently sits as number three as the third best-selling song um, in the world. Um, also, we saw Dume B have just surpassed 100 million streams on Spotify. That is an amazing one um, for Rema having a song that have surpassed 100 million um, streams on YouTube, rather, an amazing one for Rema. Dume B is one of those songs that Rema released um, at this earlier part of his career, but then the song has refused to die down, having about 100 million streams on YouTube. Moving on, we have Ashake as the next guy on the news. We saw um, Ashake Walk of Art, which arguably uh, was one of the best albums that was released this year, currently have surpassed 600 million stream on Audio Mark. And at the same time, we saw one of the biggest songs that was released um, last year, 2022, talking about Bandana, Fireboy and Ashake, the song that just surpassed 200 million stream on boom play you want to do the maths talk about spotify apple music and audio mac but then it just shows that this song is a song that you could easily fall in love with with the catchy lines and catchy um, books and people who sang it it was deserving of all of this and more or rather it is deserving of all of this and more moving on we saw ashake regains number one position on the nigeria spotify daily top artist chart um, it ended last year with Bonaboy being at number one, but then Ashake has come back to reclaim his mandate. And as we speak, Ashake currently sits at number one, chasing Bonaboy back um, to number two. My name is Daki. We'll catch you guys on the very next one. <laughs>